What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up, say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor, anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. BNGO took a massive hit today and in this video I'll go over what's happening with BNGO stock and whether you should sell out of your positions and run for the hills. I've come across so much negativity around BNGO stock lately on Twitter by paper handers that it's ridiculous. Take this for example. This tweet right here sums up how some retail traders are feeling right now about BNGO stock. According to this person, BioNanoGenomics is a worthless company and every employee should burn in hell. Now, if this is how you feel about your investments right now, then I'm afraid you should not invest in the stock market at all. Just because the stock has been in a downward trend these past couple of months does not make it a worthless company. Most people forget that BNGO was trading at 70 cents not too long ago. 70 cents? And look at where the share price is right now. Now of course, if you were someone who bought BNGO at $15, then you have a right to be a little upset. But let this be a lesson. You should never invest in a company when it's at an all-time high, especially when it's gone up massively in a matter of a few months. Because whenever this happens, you're bound to get a pullback and that's exactly what's happened to BNGO. Look at CRISPR for example. This company is a gene editing company, so essentially, when BNGO finds structural variants, CRISPR goes in and removes these structure, structural variants and cures the person of whatever genetic disease they have. Now CRISPR was trading at $210 not too long ago and currently it's sitting at around $123. Has anything changed fundamentally about CRISPR? The answer is a resounding no. The reason I'm bringing up CRISPR is to show you guys that there are plenty of other companies that have also fallen massively this year. Patience, however, always pays off and time in the market always beats timing the market. No matter how you look at it, gene editing and gene sequencing are the future of healthcare and personalized medicine. Personalized medicine is expected to reach a market size of 1.7 trillion by 2026. This is a massive market opportunity for a company whose market cap is just 1.7 billion. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean you should buy the dip? Well, yes and no. If you already have a nice average and you're happy with your position size, then you just need to be patient. Patience is made easier by constantly improving your conviction in a company. Read up on studies conducted by BNGO and learn about the company. This will help you sleep better at night. But at the same time, it's important that you don't become your own echo chamber and that you look at the cons as well. Now, I'm long on BNGO and I'm not buying any more shares. That's because I have a good average and I'm happy with my position size. Let me repeat this again, nothing has changed fundamentally about this company. There is no scenario that I can think of in which you lose all of your money unless you sell your stocks for a loss. But there is an important lesson to be had here. You should never buy stocks at all time highs. Look up RSI. The Relative Strength Index or RSI is an extremely useful indicator as it will allow you to find the right entry point in which you have limited downside. The relative strength index will let you know if a stock is oversold or if it is overbought. You should always avoid buying stocks when they are in the overbought territory. BNGO when it was trading at $15 was massively overbought. BNGO right now is massively oversold and this is the perfect time to buy. Now I'll leave you with the analyst forecasts for BNGO. As you can see, according to three analysts, the median price for BNGO is $14, so that represents a massive upside potential from these current levels. Now the bottom line with this stock is that I am not selling. This is a stock for the future, and in five years, I'll thank myself for not selling my shares at $6 a piece. Anyways guys, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.